so I just wanted to show you a quick uh, reveal of this washing machine this is a Vaughn hot point model number HP double T7 and this is a 7 kg washing machine so it can take up up to 7 kg wash load and um, when you get this washing machine you get some accessories with it and some of the accessories you get these instructions manual so you can know how to operate the machine effectively and the do's and don'ts of this twin tub washing machine then you also get the inlet hose and you will get the spinner cup so yeah those are the three accessories that come when you get this washing machine so moving on okay the inlet hose is for you to connect water from this pot this is to fill this uh, washed up this side and then you can connect the other end to a tap if you don't have a tap then you can fill this tap manually with the water and this inlet hose you move it from this place where you can fill water for washing to this space which has also another spot where you can fill water for spin drying on your washing machine so on this side we have the wash timer which goes up to 15 minutes as you can see and then we have the wash selector which is gentle normal and then the drain the wash action is usually like the gentle you can do the synthetics fabrics and the wools for about three to five minutes for normal washing then you can do the linen cottons and work clothes for about five to 12 minutes drain when you want to drain your water there then we have this spin timer when you have to spin your clothes it goes all the way to five minutes when you want to spin your clothes so on this side of the washing machine we have this drain hose it's attached here there's some space to attach it and then you can just uh, draw it down to where you want your water to drain at then you can either attach it on this side or the other side so whichever is okay and when you're not using the machine then you can just yeah put it back there down here you can see that the washing machine has its own stand so you don't even have to yeah make anything like uh, a stand for it to stand on because it's it's stable by itself at the back of this uh, twin tub washing machine we have some more instructions here telling you everything as you can tell this machine is not new i actually bought it in 2018 so it has been serving me for uh, pretty much two two years now going to three years and yeah this side this is where the power cord is fixed it's all the way it's long enough so you can see it's all the way from here up and yeah up to here but you can detach it from these hooks and then just connect this one to your socket because yeah obviously it uses electricity so yeah that's the back side and when you're not using it you can just come and yeah fix everything as it's supposed to be so you save up on space and then you can keep it neat wherever you store it after you are done with your laundry so that's the back part on this side this is where we have the wash tub this side is the wash tub and you can see it's big enough let me remove this so that you can see it's big enough that's the pulsator down there and this is the lint filter on the side 
when you fill in your water obviously it comes in from this water inlet source down here then it gets into your washing machine so yeah this is the space where you do the washing and you also do the rinsing from here on this side we have the outer spin dry lid then we have the middle spin dry lid then we always have these spin dry basket this is the dry hat so the spin basket is this so it also takes a big load of clothes when you're spinning them dry and this is where you also put this spinner cup and then you press it so that you can be able to spin your clothes dry yeah it's that it's that simple this is where you put in your water or you fill in your water you add detergent and preferably the washing machine detergents because those ones are going to enable your machine to serve you for longer then after you do the cleaning and you set the timer the wash is done then you can drain the water from the drain hose then add in clean water for you to be able to rinse your clothes and then rinse again until you are satisfied there are three options of how you can rinse your clothes when you're using these semi-automatic washing machines because you have to do a bit of the work yourself also so one is to when you clean your clothes from this wash tub then you drain the water and fill it in with clean water so that you can rinse your clothes the other option is when you finish washing your clothes then you can move them to the spinner spin them dry then fill in this side with clean water then again rinse them until you are satisfied and then put them back here for them to be spinned dry then the other option is after you are done cleaning the clothes here then you can put them here on the spinner after they are spinned dry off the dirty soapy water then you can add in your horse inlet then let it put in water as you spin until you are satisfied that the water coming out all your clothes are clean and well rinsed the third way of how you can clean and rinse your clothes with this washing machine is after your load is done on this side you can bring them here you spin them and then after that you can rinse your clothes manually in a basin if you want to and then after you are satisfied with the rinsing you can then put them back here for them to spin dry those are the three options that i've seen that work perfectly for this machine so whichever you choose if you choose to keep draining water from this side and adding in water to rinse your clothes that works perfectly if you choose to fill in the water as you tumble here until your clothes are clean that is also perfectly fine and if you choose to remove the clothes here spin them here and then rinse them manually and then return them here every option works and works perfectly another thing is when you want to use a fabric softener you can just clean your clothes normally rinse them and the final rinsing water that is where you add in your fabric softener if you want to use fabric softener and then you can go ahead and spin your clothes here normally yeah i think those are the questions that i found from the other video that i had not answered correctly another thing is the the detergent that you need to use when you're using these washing machines the best detergents are yeah the machine wash detergents because they will enable your machine to operate perfectly and for longer yeah so let me continue to show you how everything works and how the machine works how it tumbles and every part of that good stuff so i'm going to be showing you how i do my laundry from this balcony the first thing you need to do is to insert the power plug completely 
then take down the drain hose and then you can go ahead and connect the inlet hose. So I'm going to fill in the water. The water comes in from that spot so if you have a tap you can just connect it. If you don't have a tap don't worry because you can fill this tub with water from your bucket yeah you can fill it to the level that you want they have shown here where you can reach the maximum level of water so you can just fill it to your satisfaction so let me fill in the water and continue showing you the next process just going to turn this to that and then add in my soap of choice my detergent of choice and preferably use preferably use the machine washing detergents because they help you to use your machine for longer so after digiting the soap to your liking then you can start adding in your clothes to get best results when you're cleaning your fabrics then make sure that you sort out your clothes and you need to consider how soiled your clothes are, how colored they are, the whites versus the colored ones and then the lint collectors because they are those clothes that always collect lint so make sure you sort them out so that you are not destroying your clothes as you put them on in the washing machine. After you're done with this, then you can move your clean load to this uh, spinner side and then press the spinner cup with the clothes so that they get into a level, make sure that they are balanced and then you can go ahead and spin. At this point, you can go ahead and rinse your clothes from this spinner side again. This is also very safe to use because as you see when you take the flap out then the spinning stops. So it's also good because it offers a little bit of safety for kids who might be playing around. The spinner stops as soon as it's opened up. So I'm adding in my water from this spin side and I want to continue spinning it as the water runs because that's how I'm going to rinse. On this other side, the other clothes are still getting cleaned. So when that load is done, then I do the same process. I bring them on the spinner side, I press it and yeah, the usual happens. I'm able to spin and the clothes are dry. At least 90% dry, so you just hang them outside and for some few minutes they are completely dry. All you, if you have a dryer, then you can go ahead and now throw your clothes into the dryer and then they are dry now this is me draining the water from the wash tub so that I can add in more cleaning water for rinsing this other side I'm spinning as I rinse as well so yeah you can do those things concurrently and it, I haven't seen any problems for all the couple of years that I've been using this appliance water and electricity for these appliances they just use uh, competitive power like all the appliances in the house for water any pattern you choose of how to clean your clothes depending on how dirty and yeah what kind of clothes they are it depends with you but i think they are really time saving and if used well they also give you quality service.
if you're washing any of your delicate clothes then you can go ahead and wrap them in a nylon net so that you are able to clean them without destroying your fabrics or your best clothes that makes uh, the washer do the job normally with ease Once you are done with the cleaning process, make sure that you clean the wash tub and the spin tub and wipe it with a clean cloth so that it's ready for the next use. The instructions manual has also instructions on how to clean the washing machine from time to time so that it gives you best results every time you get to use it. So make sure you read through your instructions manual and you're able to operate this this is basically where i clean my clothes because this house has a big kitchen balcony and other balconies but yeah this is the one that i use because i have a socket and i have a tap so it's just perfect for doing laundry for my house let your appliances dry up by taking down the drain hose so that you can get all the water out and then eventually you can hang your clothes wherever you hang them or continue with the drying process if you're using a dryer to dry your clothes and yeah our laundry is done and it's that easy and i have to say that it has really saved a lot of time and a lot of headaches and yeah it becomes uh, easy and fun to do laundry now Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you on the next video. If you have any questions, kindly let me know in the comment section. Bye bye.